Uh, first of all, uh, Madam Ngozi, the truth of the matter is that today in Nigeria or in Africa, not just in the southwest or in the entire southern part of Nigeria, across the entire nation, if you want to talk about one of the most experienced politicians and leader who has seen it all, who was involved in the Biafra war, who has also had the privilege to lead during the military era, who has also had the privilege to be a democratically elected president for eight years, I think it's Obasanjo. If he is not relevant, just like my brother from APC before he just before now said that Tinubu went to Obasanjo's house because Obasanjo is relevant in our current political dispensation, and that is nothing but the truth. Uh, you see, whether you like it or not, this is a huge step in the forward direction and this is a great endorsement for Labour Party and our principal, Peter Obi, the incoming president and his, uh, 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 and his VP, Dati. You see, I'm so surprised when people come to TV and they just talk. I've, I've listened carefully to APC and PDP. You tell us that uh, people tell you they meet you on the street and they tell you that uh, keep on that you are on the right track. Or you come and tell us that uh, OBJ is endorsing Peter Obi because he wants somebody that he can control. Let me tell you. It is obvious, everybody knows who Peter Obi is. And OBJ is not a child. This is a veteran. This is a leader, a national or a continental leader. There's no way you can look at what is happening today and say, you see, people are tired. And if APC and PDP will not get it, if they will not get it on time, you know, and begin to discuss with Labour Party and negotiate their way for, for the next eight years, <laughs> I don't really, really see them, you know, being part of anything meaningful. Nigeria has been in bondage for a long time. And the only person who has a proven track record to put the country back to where it should be, you know, despite the damages, the bruises, the injuries, it's only Peter Obi. When you look at these other two or three options, you can't compare. Not just because he is strong, he is healthier than them in terms of, you know, uh, age or whatever.